What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I am currently sitting here with Giraffe. Today is gonna be a late start. So something that we're gonna be working on right now is we're having a lot of like steering wheel play. I'll kind of show a video right here. So obviously like looking it up, everybody recommends changing out your steering coupler. The other day we took out the old one and kind of inspected it and we saw like little minor cracks and things. It's just, it's rubber so it's old. There was a little bit of flex in it. We ordered a part previously like a few months ago and we were about to put it on. Don't make this mistake, man, we've been making a lot of mistakes. But at least we can tell you guys to make sure you get the right part because sometimes the part numbers didn't correctly add up for some reason. So specifically for our 2002 E46 M3, you see this is the steering coupler. Right here, you'll see it has splines with teeth in it. And then this side also has spline, is a spline with teeth in it. But how it's supposed to be is that you see the teeth with the spline and then this side looks like that. We finally got the part number. Shout out to Javier for hooking us up. He works at Bueno Park BMW. And look, special order. The M3 has actually just been sitting here overnight because we took out the old one, realized we got the wrong part, and then now that we have the new part, we're gonna go ahead and swap in the correct part. So for right now, we're gonna go ahead and jack up the car, get everything ready, and get started. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see right here, that's the steering coupler. So there's a bolt on top and the bolt on the side. Go ahead and remove those, pull it up, and it's easy as that. This one, as you can see, it's already um, pulled up. So all I gotta do is slightly remove it. There is a black piece of plastic that you wanna line up everything with so that it sits on properly. And you should be good to go. Hi guys. So this is the old one. As you can tell, I don't, can you even see it up close or not really? But little parts of it, you can, you might be able to see like a little bit of cracking or, you know, it's just old. I don't know how much flex there is. I mean, there isn't a lot, but a lot of, a lot of people even say like, you won't really be able to tell just by using your hands. It's more so like with the flexing of it, you'll feel more with it actually on and within the steering. So if yours looks drastically worse than this, then yeah, definitely ch change it out. But we're hoping putting in the new one will tighten up the loose steering feel. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, so we, I'm wearing these glasses so I don't get shit in my eyes, but we finally got it on. It's literally it's it's a bitch to get on. You just got to keep working at it or if you're lucky, you, I hate you, but finally got it on. Put a little Loctite on the screws. Put everything back together and call it a freaking night. I'm tired. So far drafts already started turning the wheel and he's like he said, what are, you, what, are you, what are your thoughts from up there? Very tight. Finally, holy crap. That was a mission and a half. I'm tired. It's literally, what time is it? Midnight. It's midnight. So, we're gonna put the car down. Just go on a test drive. I'll probably just see you guys tomorrow and we'll give a review of how it feels. So I'll see you tomorrow. So obviously we're driving around, but just even even driving like this on the freeway, normally you have to always like correct it, but it feels a lot tighter right now. The GoPro literally died. But anyways, so you can see the steering wheel. There's, there, it looks like it's doing the same, but the car is actually moving this time. Before, you know, you'd be doing that and the car just doesn't go anywhere. Sorry if that was like a crappy example. The GoPro died, I was not expecting that. I should have had it charged. One thing I do have to say is like on the freeway, there was a lot of like play, especially when you would hit bumps. Uh, like you would have to like correct it, but now it feels a lot more solid and it's, it's a lot easier to drive now. Before like, if you're going at higher speeds or anything like that, it felt very like unreliable and very loose and it was kind of annoying so it was like always you always like when you were driving this car you always had to correct it while you know going at a certain speed or when you're making turns it just didn't feel so tight with the new steering coupler like it feels so much better things are all coming together so hopefully once we put the new wheel setup on and you know we adjust the suspension a little bit 
we're gonna go ahead and take it for a couple canyon drives i'll do some pov the car should feel really really good the only thing that's missing now is when we do the rear subframe reinforcement and we're also going to be replacing all the bushings in the back so that's going to make the car feel even better because as of right now you can kind of tell that the car in the rear feels like pretty loose and that could be due to you know it needing the uh, rear subframe reinforcement and uh, all the bushings replaced i'm not sure if we should be going oem or polyurethane let us know down in the comments below what your opinion is on that so that's pretty much it sorry i couldn't get you a little better footage you're not really going to be able to tell but just by looking at it but you feel it you feel that it feels a lot tighter and it's not as loose anymore which is a good thing. I know this is a short video, but we have a lot more content coming soon. We're gonna be taking this car on a lift just to get a lot of stuff done. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.